during this less almost three years of the Bi of the Biden administration, uh, the administration has taken into custody and then let go into the United States three million illegal border crossers. It is now earlier in the uh, segment you had uh, your reporter had said that most immigrants legal. And generally, when you look at the whole immigrant population, that's true. But over the past three years, the majority of immigration is illegal. So entering the United States illegally is now the main way of immigrating under the Biden administration. And if you want to make a case that we need increased immigration, I will argue against it. Mm -hmm. But that's a separate debate. The Congress is the one that decides what the limits, what the caps, what the characteristics are of people being allowed into the United States. And this administration is simply ignoring that and, run, and basically freelancing yeah. its own immigration policy. And that has to stop no matter what we do on legal immigration. Hey, Laura, you wanted to say something. Go ahead, and then I'll off that. Well, yeah, it's just a quick point of clarification, because the people who are let go are actually people who have gone through and, yeah. and into an asylum hearing. So they're waiting for asylum. And it was actually a point that, that he made at the beginning, that these people are accessing the asylum system. But so that's not illegal. There's an international and a national right to asylum seeking. Some of them, yeah. first of all, their entrance is illegal. You yeah. can't apply for asylum unless you're an illegal alien through nope. defensive nope. asylum. By definition, you are an illegal alien, and no. many of them no. do not apply. Legally, that's not true, and Mark, you're not a lawyer, so that's not right. Asylum many is written in the code for people to apply. The only way to apply for asylum is in the United States. People who appear at the border present themselves for asylum are going through the legal process. You clearly stated that Congress is the party that decides immigration, and they haven't decided immigration for 30 years. So they're the party that needs to decide the law. So it's not the president that has failed us. It is Congress that has failed us. We've had three different presidents through three different crises of immigration with no Congress doing anything. So the concept Cong that the president is running a system that Congress has no control over, okay. that Congress funds, is a misstatement. Congress can only fund up to 400,000 deportations a year. That's within the budget. So if there are 11 million people who are undocumented and Congress is in control, then why aren't they funding for it? So stop the fictions and let's okay. deal with the realities. Immigration is useful. And the reason that people are undocumented is because our system is broken yeah. and people would do it the legal way if we had enough avenues.